This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by the LG G3. Especially here in the States, the LG G3 is finally making it to the major carriers and also onto store shelves. So with the launch impending, we wanted to revisit the LG G3 and tell you everything that you need to know about it. Hey, it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is what you need to know about the LG G3. Of course, when you're talking about the LG G3, you have to talk about that Quad HD display. Not only does it come in at a 5.5 inch size, which makes it very accessible in terms of playing video games and also for videos and pictures, you also are working with a very high resolution display at 2560 by 1440. That means no matter what you do on here when it comes to games or videos or pictures or even text with the high pixel density on here, you're going to have a very sharp display that will give you everything you need in a very attractive manner. It's very easy easy on the eyes and one of the most photogenic screens that I've ever had the pleasure of dealing with. But of course, that screen would not be easy to use if the entire device wasn't easy to handle in the first place. And on the LG G3, LG's mastering of panels comes back again with a small bezel that goes all around this 5.5 inch screen. When you're looking at the front, you basically just get a huge screen and very little girth on the top and bottom and even less on the sides, making this one of the easiest to handle larger displays ever. Uh, not only does the 5.5 inch display usually mean that you have to do some hand gymnastics, they are greatly minimized in the LG G3. But the design also lends itself uh, to some easy ergonomics when it comes to not only the sides having no buttons because that back button layout returns here from the original G2, uh, there's also a slight curve on the back which is also made up of a very durable plastic that has a very attractive metallic feel. This brushed metal on the back it just gives it a wonderful look and provides uh, that subtle curve that makes this one of the easier to handle larger devices available in the market today. And underneath that hood, you have a lot of great power. Uh, given the specifications of the Snapdragon 801 and the Adreno 330 with three gigabytes of RAM providing the sheer power that you need to plow through all of your video games, whether they be the most intensive ones in the Play Store or not, and also to multitask given the many tools that you have at your disposal inside of the GUI. Uh, the specifications really make this one of the most powerful phones out there, and the G3 definitely rocks this processing package very well. Let's not forget, however, that the back cover, despite having a very durable plastic feel and also that attractive brushed metal look, uh, is actually removable, giving the G3 some features that in the past were things that we really wanted inside of our smartphones, especially the flagship ones like a removable battery that can be replaced with another unit if you need that extra boost of power and also expandable storage. But that's enough about the hardware, let's go ahead and jump into the software and talk about the new GUI. Not only does it bring with it a flatter look, a much cleaner look all around compared Compared to previous iterations, it also hides a lot of the elements that are easily accessible still uh, that used to clutter the operating system in the past. You also have various smart capabilities like the Smart Notify, which brings you easy cards in a widget on your home screen uh, to give you information about missed calls or new contact reminders or the weather. You also have the Smart Keyboard, which allows you to really cater the keyboard to the experience of your liking, uh, including the size of the keyboard and how much it takes up the screen. And then finally, the Smart Cleaning, which allows you to to clean up the phone when it starts to get kind of slow, especially by deleting and uninstalling the various applications that you may not have used in a long time. But even now, one of our favorite features of the software in the LG G3 was originally introduced in the G2 and it's called the knock code. And it has been enhanced for the G3 to give you not only the ability to turn on the screen with a double tap on the turned off screen, but also the ability to create a pattern code on a two by two square grid that allows you to turn on the screen not only from the prone position, but also when you unlock the phone, uh, you will be able to do so using these taps. The knock code is a great way of adding a little bit more security to your LG G3 and it is actually one of the more fun ways of unlocking your device rather than just the simple swipe over or any other uh, methods that are already there. And finally, we make it over to one of my favorite features of the LG G3, and that has to be the camera on the back. Not only do we have an enhanced camera with OIS Plus that allows for even greater stabilization on top of the hardware stabilization, you get software stabilization, you also have a new laser focusing system, and, and it's that little area on the left of the camera optics that shoots out lasers from, uh, from within in order to see what the distances are from all of the subjects that you may be capturing in your photo. And it works lightning fast. The camera 
camera itself is a great performer, enhanced not only by the focusing system, but also by uh, further optimizations in the image quality. So you will be able to take a lot of great pictures with the LG G3, and you'll be able to do so very quickly because of the laser focusing system. And so there you have it for this look at the LG G3, everything you need to know. The G3 is making it, like I said already, onto store shelves and onto the major carriers, and it will allow you to enjoy this phone uh, if you're looking for an upgrade or if you're going to be moving to a new contract. This might be one of the better choices for you because it provides quite a lot, especially when you consider that great Quad HD display. Keep it tuned here. Give us some thumbs up on our videos and subscribe if you haven't already. After that, head on over to androidauthority.com for even more because we are your source for all things Android.